I'm Jared Haynes, and this is Rogue Outdoors. Today what I'm going to do is a second video on the Crosstech holster from Limb Saver. In the previous video, when I took the handgun and I put it into the holster, uh, what I did is I left the trigger guard outside of the holster because I just wanted to show that the cylinder could fit down inside the holster um, very easily since a revolver is going to have a wider profile than most of the other semi-automatic handguns out there. So to do this properly, to get this in, there's these two screws on the edge where you've got the um, trigger guard, you're going to want to unloosen this screw. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. And I'll show you the proper way for the fitting of a revolver. So we're going to unloosen the screw on the inside right here and pop it out, which allows this holster to open up quite a bit wider right there. And then when you take the gun and you slip it in, now you're covering up that, that trigger guard and you don't have any issues. All you need is the edge screws to be left on there. That way um, the holster itself, the two pieces of rubber are held together, but these two end ones allow you to fit it in. And if you have an even bigger handgun, this is a 357 Magnum from Smith & Wesson, then you could unloosen this other front one and that would allow it to fit in even better. So, but this is totally end protected. You can't get onto that. So if you've got this in the waistband, you don't have to worry about that trigger being pulled. So I hope that answers the questions that I had on the first video. Um, if you haven't seen the first video, go ahead and check that one out because it gives a full comprehensive review of the holster, bunch of different guns that it fits. But this is the proper fitting for a double action revolver.